Hey guys, Nate here. Welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues. In the last episode, uh, in the last episode, I talked to everyone at the Think Tank, got some uh, new quests. I actually found out some backstory, a, a very little bit of backstory on a uh, Ulysses, who is the courier before me, who should have been delivering the platinum ship. Uh, also found. Oh, I'm also here for uh, Gabe, one of the members of the, of the Think Tank's robo-dog. I also need something else here. An audio sample for the jukebox. But we also um, found out some information on our friends from Dead Money, Christine and Elijah. Christine actually being a friend and Elijah just being a dick who put a bomb collar on me. Uh, oh. Audio sample, giant tarantula. Do I want that? You found a recalibration file with a sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox in the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for the new effects. Do I want that? Um. But, in the way that... Because I thought the last episode would be the last episode of Old World Blues, but then I got a few other quests. Uh, one that I can finish up right now. Where's the exit? Um, oh. One I can finish up right now, and the other one I can uh, do at in some other time. Because it's in the it's in the same place as the Forbidden Zone. I'm not sure if I have to go in to get it. There's gonna be Robo Scorpions there anyway, which I don't want to deal with regardless, but I'm gonna have to. So I'm gonna bring this back to Dr. Boros. And, uh, everything will be fine. And then we'll go after, uh, Dr. Mobius. Don't know if this will be the last episode, though. Pretty sure I'll have some side quests to do. Maybe. Um... I have a soundwave file for you. Right on, baby. Wait, tarantula. Okay, but what does it do? I, I think I want to keep here with Bark. Actually, I don't know what uh, I don't, I don't know what I want actually. Um, I want the auto doctor repair me, so I don't need any addition. stims. And we'll go give uh, Boros his, uh, unless the game froze, because that would kind of suck a little bit. Okay. Uh, which one's Boros again? This one. The lobotomite returns. What insidious plan can it have brewing in its horrid mind? What commie anti-American propaganda will it spew? Jeez. This Gabe's bowl, your dog from X8, Gabe. What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I, you know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite pin it down. Sadness? Sounds like Gabe really loved you. Why, yes, Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he... he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, <laughs> he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... Oh. 
If you don't mind, I'll take that bowl. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. Or of sadness. It sounds to me like you hurt someone who loved you very much. Hope you think on what you've done. Something to be ashamed of gave you his place as a specimen. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before. Until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. Crush the feeling down. Crush it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes. I do not need to remember anymore. Not today. Oh. You almost had human feelings. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Alright. So I can... Go to... The Forbidden Zone, right? There's gonna be something over here by the Forbidden Zone. For the jukebox. But I'm just gonna... Because I don't really know what's gonna be out there. Uh, it's gonna be Robo Scorpions. I already know it. Oh God, that was weird. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that doesn't do much. Ow! Alarming! Alarming! Oh god, I went inside. I went inside by accident. I went inside by accident. This is not good. Oh no, I think I actually went outside. Oh yeah, this place is gonna be hard, isn't it? I just remember I could have snuck in here. But uh, that also would have been bad. Especially with how hard these guys are. Alright, where's this audio sample? Yeah, it's it's in that door. X-42 Robo Warfare Facility. Uh, is my quest in here? No, it's part of the tunnel. The canyon, I mean, actually. Huh. The entrance is right here. Um, screw that. I'm gonna stay hidden. Once I see how much health that thing has, I'm probably gonna wanna back away anyway. Wait, why can't I target it? Aha! Screw that. Um. X-42 Robo Scorpion test log. The Saturnite armor plating on the giant Robo Scorpion has exceeded expectations, mostly. While it's virtually impervious to small arms fire, the sonic emitter that Parsons brought in managed to fry several of the prototype subsystems. We'll have to look into improved EMP shielding for the next prototype. 
On a more positive note, the prototype's new atomic laser is performing admirably. Some residual radiation is left behind after their weapon discharges. It may be necessary to re requisition more radiation suits and meds as precaution. Target joint effectiveness log. The, con the constant improvements to the uh, sorry, giant Robo-Scorpion has rendered the Protectron models we've been using as hostile communist forces largely ineffective. At this stage, they're little more than distractions. Activate target drones. Oh. Whew. Uh, at least this way we can. Ooh, what is happening? Oh, that's super stimpack wearing off. How do I kill this thing without engaging it? It looks like that could fry it. I really don't want to fight that thing, you don't understand. That thing has 3,500 health. Uh... Okay, I think I can... It's not a committer, it seems to be something that I can use. But I don't know how much that'll be effective against him. You didn't hear anything. Oh god, I jumped. Critical strike knockback. Backup generator log. The new atomic laser is putting an incredible strain on the giant RoboScorpion's generator. Damn thing shut down right in the middle of weapons testing last week. I pushed for the reducing for reducing laser output by 25%. Instead, they slapped a backup generator onto the Scorpion. Dangerous, if you ask me. The, the systems weren't designed to handle the power from two systems at once. And if some rookie tech fires up the backup generator too early, well... Ooh. That sounds like something I can exploit. I'll save first, just in case it makes him super powerful. Warning, activating backup power at this stage can damage or destroy the prototype. I want it to destroy. It's not going to be that easy. Uh, what else can I try to use? I think I can try and sneak over there. Because I really don't want that time laser shooting at me. I could probably just engage it and win, but uh, I'm not confident, honestly. He's not facing me, so that's good. Oh, God. The, the Protectorons managed to damage him some. Ooh. You know, if I look at this first aid box one more time, my game tabs out. Okay. Bad guys dealt with. He seems to have something to do with uh, radiation, so I'm gonna want to stay away from him in that regard. Um, don't grab the empty bottle. You grab the empty bottle. What did I just say? Literally of no use. The proton throwing axes could do something. I just wanna I just wanna look for the way that I don't have to fight this. Oh god, look at it. I already have enough trouble fighting those things when they're small in Mark 6. This thing is X42. Just chill out. Uh, 
that wasn't okay. What does this do? Ooh. Okay, uh ascension. Two out of nine. A S C E N. It wouldn't be I O N then. Ascension. Let's try clearing stuff first. Hmm. Oh, C1. Not very forgiving today, is it? Ah, curiosity. New target, X42 <gasps> Do that. They're doing nothing to him, really. I mean, they're doing something to him, but, I mean, not as fast as I want them to. All the turrets are focusing on him, I expect him to die at a faster rate. And it's quite loud. No, really, it's quite loud. Uh, don't take don't fall damage. Ow, ow. Okay, no, really, I need to turn. I need to turn off the effects right now. It's still pretty loud, but at least it's manageable now. Ooh, emergency shutdown terminal. Uh, replenishing? No. Construction? No. Um, purification? No. Purification? T? No. I see a purification. Ah, nope. No, I should have quick saved or something. A little bit. Why can't I click the bobby pin? There we go. Alright, let's uh, take this right away and quick save before this. It's the very hard terminal, I didn't do it. Stop to yeah. Same thing, except different places. Emergency shutdown procedure log. Per instructions from the higher ups after that one time, the giant robo scorpion's attack routine malfunctioned. We've installed an emergency safe shutdown procedure. Let's hope we never have to use it. The prototype systems will be all will all be fried, and we won't be up and running again for weeks. The military is expecting delivery of a battle ready model within six months. The project's already had enough delays. Initiate. The place is gonna blow up. Wait, did it shut down? I think it shut down. Holy crap. That was confusing. <laughs> uh, what did I want? I wanted something. I should probably get silent running. I'm tired of getting seen by things. Yeah, I'll do silent running. 
Audio sample Moby says Robo Scorpion. I guess I don't need that anymore. Find sample to the biological research station. And there's a layer that I can repair Elijah's la Sometimes I just wanna play a game, you know? I got I got back up and running though, hopefully. Um I'm gonna repair Um which is I'm gonna repair it with the layer that I just got. It'll probably still deteriorate really fast, but so this thing is shut down, apparently, is it? I don't trust it, especially because of the fact that it's still on. Door to the Forbidden Zone Dome. So what is that there? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the field research quest. I want this one. Alright. Oh, you have a much darker place. Dr. Mobius? Forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Is that better? Surrender, Moby. I don't want to fight you. Oh, well, that's good. Were we supposed to fight? I certainly don't feel violent, but, well, these contraptions make it hard to tell. You aren't exactly what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. I need my brain back. Why'd you steal my brain? I need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. Do I have to speechcraft my own brain? I was curious about some things. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. I can't fix your monitor, but if you're getting ghost reception, I can fix that. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Good, good, better. Oh. oh, oh, yes, that feels wonderful. This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break. Why'd you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The anomaly? You're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well... Your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. 
Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Why is that a problem? I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. Uh. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. Huh? Oh well. I need to know about it though. Can you tell me about your about your RoboScorpions? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert. <laughs> like poisonous frosting. <laughs> How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about Custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Uh, you don't seem aggressive. Why broadcast threats to the think tank? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Oh my god. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! I need to speak to a human. So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. I've been talking to <laughs> old world scientists the entire As time. For the cycle, I forgot what it's like to talk to humans. Sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Wait, sounds like you put the Robo Scorpions issued threats to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it? Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Everything you told me doesn't add up. Your plan, even your name Mobius. Sounds like you forgot your master plan. Surprised you remember your own name. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. Well, I my must brain. admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. You reprogram their names as part of a recursion loop? What, to trap the processors? Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. Now you sound evil. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... Why did you trap them? A recursion loop is designed to prevent the flow of information, so... So all this insanity is because of you? Recursion loop. The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several plan B's in case the A's fail. Klein, Mobius, O's, a circle, eight's an infinity symbol. 
They're all loops. I get it. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Ouroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. That's why it Burroughs didn't really talk anymore. Lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. That's kind of an asshole thing to do to your friends. Minor detail, but a snake devouring its own tail is Ouroboros, not... Ouroboros, not Ouroboros. If you lobotomize a think tank, why terrorize them, intelligence? Really? It is so unlikely to make an error in anything I do. I don't understand why you sent the threats and the Robo Scorpion army against the think tank. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... <clears throat> then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. Ah, but there must have been some other signs of a larger world. There were other visitors though, why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. The bullet that went to my brain? Doc Mitchell tried to patch me up, but a cranial injury from the attack outside Good Springs. The only wrinkle is the one that bullet made going to my brain pan. Uh, guns. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Mm, Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. So I'm healed. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial selves into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... So if I don't get my brain back in my head, I can't leave ever? So you set your threats on a loop to keep them occupied. Do you know anything about the other visitors? Klein said they had the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. Coincidence? I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. 
And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. What's the purpose of these technologies? Was there any other data transmitted in your threat broadcast? But well, the think tank downloaded the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Any other data? Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. Oh. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. That's why he doesn't remember Ulysses. You're really quiet, difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. What's the purpose? The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. Um. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of similarities between the Wizard of Oz and Old World Blues. The only one I can find is the one that he just told me, but I'm... I'm thinking about it now. But the Think Tank downloaded the schematics, not the items, they can rebuild them. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. Uh... Alright, fine, I'll go. Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our little chat then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Okay, that did not go how I expected it to go. Um, you don't mind, do you? Hi. Now you're fine. Hi. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Are you my brain? Why does my brain sound so masculine? Ah, well, as to that, you'd be surprised how hard a feminine sounding voice modulator is to find in the Forbidden Zone. Huh. It's not as though brain sustaining life support tanks grow on trees. I had to take what I could get. Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Why are you such a dick? You don't need to be sarcastic, meaning your own brain is slightly out of vent. Listen, you're my brain, so you better be more respectful. How the hell did Mobius get a hold of my brain? Why is such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. Hey. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? I didn't either. 
of course you're responsible. You're my brain. I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. But you're the source of most of those glands, unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. I... well... look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. <laughs> Admit, you're just as glandular as I am. Oh, alright. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Wow. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Why am I arguing with my brain? What? But what about the good things? What about a cool breeze in your cheek? The smell of food? Love? Overrated biological feedback. You Believe suck. me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing homo. We established this already. It isn't... Isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? So we're at an impasse. You can't feel what I feel, and I can't think the way you think. Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I think we have to trust each other and acknowledge that we aren't complete if we're separated. Well, if we keep going like this, what do you think? I think we should trust each other. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. So what do you say, Brain? Join me for some more wild adventures? Maybe I've been a little unfair. If you want to stake her, I'll let- Oh, God. I want to keep my brain. Um, so what do you say, Brain? Join me for some more wild adventures? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We will have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why? They promised to put us back together once I did what they wanted. Then let's go make them share. Come on, brain, stopping time. Wait, why? And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Oh. God. What's so bad about letting the brains get out? They don't seem that terrible. You're part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. They don't seem that terrible. Don't seem so bad. They vivisected us just to see what would happen. Uh. Have you forgotten the lobotomites? The cyber dogs, I assume you saw those. Imagine that kind of science spread across the entire Mojave. Every man, woman, and child we met reduced to a lobotomite. Oh. Is that what you want? No. No, Brain. No. No. I'm... Th this is a weird experience for me. I've been... I've been given the option to hit on light switches. I've been talking to floating brains, and now I'm talking to my floating brain. You're part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. Alright, what's the plan? If the think tank won't hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. I'll handle the brains. You stay here. You'll be more useful outside of my head. Now let's go. Right! Look out, think tank! This brain is coming out of its jar!
I suppose now that we're reunited, okay. you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts that Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Your brain added. I'm running out of floor space for my calculations. Confront Dr. Klein of the Think Tank and your imprisonment at Big Mountain. Use Sync Auto Doc to retrieve your original heart and retrieve your original spine. <sighs> Let me take one last look at the perks. Brainless. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Plus 25 resistance to and shock from bodily damage. We have chem resistance. Plus 5% damage threshold. Minimum plus 1. <sighs> now that I'm seeing the light, these perks seem less fun. Allows healing items to function at a higher level, but they're chems. Robots are not confused by you, and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. And what about my spine? Whoa. Uh, that one got messed up. Uh, plus one to strength, and my damage threshold. This is stuff I can repair, this is stuff I can do back in the Mojave. Uh, do you have anything else to talk about, Dr. Mobius? Oh, I see you and your brain reached a compromise. How pleasant. I hypothesize after the indignant frequencies my receptors had uh, recepted, such a partnership-based conclusion would be low on the likely scale. My brain told me the think tank needs to be stopped. Can you help? Do you know how I can stop the think tank? Can I have a mentat? My brain told me the think tank needs to be stopped. Can you help? If I recall, I had a plan that was working, or whatever it was. I don't think it reached fruition. I would recall fruit if it had happened. I wasn't trying to kill them, just keep them out of trouble. What was that plan? Blast. I probably uh, wrote it down on the floor somewhere. Any tactics I could use to attack the think tank? What was the plan you had? Well, I don't want to keep them out of trouble. I want to kill them. Well, I don't want to keep them out. Of, I want to keep them out of trouble. Any tactics I could use to attack the think tank? That will be difficult. It would be like fighting five scaled-down versions of me that have better depth perception. And they have an arsenal of vivisectors, brain eel beams, and a rather nasty ray that can make your atoms do a happy dance. Oh, God. If you could survive those highly improbable odds and ends, then deceasing them is definitely an option. Although, I doubt killing them would do anything except make you feel better. Or let you brag to other humans about your primal violentness. What was the plan you had? Something ingenious and needlessly complicated, I expect. I may have already told you and forgotten it. I forgot I had forgotten pencils until one day I found one. Spent days studying its purpose before my memory circuit kicked in. Felt quiet silly. Anything I could do to stop them that doesn't require violence? Well, you could try and appeal to their humanity. <laughs> That's a tired cliché. And really, when they were humans, they weren't very good humans. I'd like to make the effort. Any suggestions for how I can make them change their minds? Well, there's many things they have forgotten sitting in their bowls. Friendship, the thrill of discovery. Love, masturbation, the usual. Dar Much Darla. like your brain, I am certain there is something you can spark within each of them. Memories, hormones. A wise man once said, the eyes do more than see. Make them see, if you can. Or if not, you can always make them succumb to fear. 
<laughs> it certainly worked for me. For a time. Then you came along, and bravery and or desperation trumped that little idea. Back to the drawing board, I suppose. Or is this the end? Hard to tell. Hmm, let's see. I'm not sure what Dr. 8 wants. I know Dr. O, well, Dr. Zero wants to be appreciated. Dr. Klein, Discovery. Dala, masturbation. Um, Boros, friendship. I don't know what eight wants. Scare them. How? Oh, tell them I'm still alive. We had a nice chat, and we agree on a few things. That's true, isn't it? Or you could kill me and lie about it. Either way, it would be interesting. And if you are partial to lying and deception, well, you could tell them a ludicrous lie. The more over the top, the better. That's my experience. They're more than a little gullible. Better make it convincing, though. Or it'll be the dissection table and vivisectors for you. And if you speak of me, please try and make me look good. I am Dr. Mobius, after all. Not some lab assistant teacher's aide. <laughs> okay. Indeed. All right. Not entirely sure about this guy. Don't want to go and kill them. Especially with all those things that he said that didn't sound very uh, appealing. Electrons attached to the neutron. The neutrons attached to the meson. Mesons connected to the proton. Um. All right, so I think I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna go back in. Oh God, please tell me things friendly now. Uh, oh, hi. See, he's fine. Hopefully, the Robo Scorpions don't go about attacking me again. Because that would be rather annoying. Alright, so now that my brain has made me see the light, I'm gonna go about this differently. Or should I do this first? I plan on finishing it this episode. What, where's this thing? Biological research station. That's not the biological research station. It's a different thing. What? Where? Where? Where is it? It's up there. How do I get up Time there? Time to fight. Oh God. Was that all? Good thing is I didn't really have to use any of my ammo. That's always a good thing. Now, uh, where's the stairs? There they are. I have to fight something. Um... Is it... In here? I have to get up there. I'm thinking about just TCLing. I don't want to TCL though, because then I'll I won't get achievements. Um gotta find another way up. How did I get up there before? Not it. And how do I even get over here? Wait, botanical garden. Uh, I just went farther down. That's 
Awesome. Uh. Where is this thing? If I just go around. Let's try this way. Hey, my friend. I think it's just their directive. Is that all? I won't blame Mobius for that. It seems like there should be a research station here. Something that I can go over. Signal Hills transmitter, maybe? I do know I'm just wasting time. Trust me, I know. I bet no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. What are you talking about? You're on my body. I'm pretty good noticing you right now. Uh, wait. Wait, I needed the seat package? Oh, find samples for it. Okay. Could have just said that. I thought we were finding audio samples again. Alright. Wait, now let's uh, quick save out there and make the actual save later on. Alright, let's talk to the. Precisely where sir has left them, and should the test to say otherwise, I remind sir that it is a waste room. Okay. I'll talk to the uh, pedophile. You got some plans for me, don't you? Yeah, I can smell it all over you. <sighs> take my seat. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. Just take it. Everyone, shut up. <laughs> What's the haps? I found more sounds. Uh, Gabriel's bark? Keep that. What's the haps? Wait, apparently it's a different thing. I found a sound wave file for you. Right. Robo Scorpion. Alright, that's that quest finished. I guess I'll still be able to come in here, considering it's a house. Alright. We ready? Wait, actually. Okay. I say prematurely. Got my brains and my other stuff back in. Alright, how do I do this? I, I use the auto dock. You require some additional services? Yes. Put my stuff back in. Place your heart back in your chest. Cardiac arrest perk. Your heart is back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. You are less resistant to poison, 50%, and robots are less... are only somewhat confused by you. 25% less likely to score a critical hit now. But on the bright side, healing items cams are twice as effective. So I still keep some of my stuff. It's pretty good. Because these are pretty effective perks. Alright, I need to put my spine back in as well. The synthetic version. Reattach your spine. Lost spineless perk. Reinforced spine perk. Your spine's back in your body, but some advanced technology remain. Your torso can now be crippled again, but your strength your strength and damage threshold bonuses have doubled. These are better perks. Who would have thought? Oh god, he's snoring again. 
Apparently I haven't been here that long. I've only slept a bit. Dr. Klein awaits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. Oh, it's red now. Alright. I don't want to shoot you guys. Oh, you guys seem angry. What's up? The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? I found my brain. Now you and I are going to settle things. I think you're past due for your lobotomy, Klein. You may have noticed the pacification field is down. Guess what happens now? I found my brain, now you and I are gonna settle things. I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain, hand it over, or we'll extract it again. I'm not handing my brain over, there's some things I should discuss. We should discuss. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. Oh. You think I'm a lobotomite? No, for my skull house is the brain of Mobius. Well, because I talked it over and reached an understanding. Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. I can't let you dis dissect the Mojave or let you leave. Reach understanding. You are lying. No, you are not. Your heartbeat, perspiration, all excessively confident and sure of yourself. Why would you reason with that maniac? He'll destroy us all. Maybe you should confer with your colleagues first. Nonsense! Confer? Colleagues? Those are two words I do not recognize. Dr. Klein, I must intersect. Please, do not harm the lobotomite. I'm not going to harm it. I'm going to dissect it until it's dead. Why the sudden intersection, Dalla? I cannot stand a breathing, a sweet breathing organism, breathing in and out to suddenly not breathe. We must keep it alive for study, a slow study. Gala, these vocalized pauses are unlike you. What do you care? Klein, uh, you know, this lobotomite, it's a great sounding board. You respect ideology, right? This one's, well, it's got good ideas. Talking to people does good Silence, things. Silence, Doctor O. That's this me. is That's a think me. tank decision. Save your objections until after I have decided our course of action. You know what, Klein? Stick a straw in your tank and suck yourself. <laughs> Long and deep. Ooh. And my name is Zero. Yeah, a big fat zero with a slash through it. Yeah. The slash as a designator of... Why, that is brilliant. But how did you... The lobotomite taught me that. Taught me a name is more than... Um, that I should take pride in things like names and... You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you! And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat! Damn. How dare you! Bringle Beam Oscillation was solely my discovery! I expressly told you that and deleted all evidence to the contrary! Ah. It's two, eight... Why are you acting like this? You've never refused to commit necessary surgery before. And this lobotomite needs its surgery.
I talked to him and now he likes me. A noble speech, but there is no room in my vocabulators for friend and lobotomite in the same sentence. You just did. Very concept. <laughs> Revolting. Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. We have chems for that. We can save you from your emotional addiction. Hey, 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 hey. If I may, I feel as if I must be the voice of reason here. This lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. There is good here. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering in the name of science. Like good old Gabe, the finest of lab specimens. Why am I even listening to you fools? Enough of this mutinous chorus. If there's a word I hate, it's mutiny. Don't kill them. And the word jism has <clears throat> never made any sense to me. It's ridiculous putting j and z together like that. Nonsense! I count as five. Like the mighty human hand I once had, with its five penises clenched in a <laughs> fist! Oh god. Sounds to me like your math is wrong, and the odds aren't good. Nonsense! The mathematics of this situation are on our side, lobotomite! I believe... No, wait. Hmm. Carry the two, and then... Hmm. If this were a democracy, I would be concerned. We are too scientific for that. So just surrender. It's not a democracy, it's a research facility, and over half your colleagues dispute your findings. You dare use logic against me? What are you going to do about it? I do. Here's the deal. I'm not going to surrender. You are. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves, tested it, frauded at it, made it squirm you can still do that here quietly for me i can bring the mojave this world to you you'll be safe and you'll still be able to experiment uh -huh. you'll be safe and you'll still be able to experiment for you and for science I have a strange sensation that I would like that. How odd. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service. Nice. As long as you do not destroy us. Nice. Nice. Can I talk to them? Talk my way out of boss fights. The teddy bear the bottom I could... Oh no, they don't say anything. Nice. I talk my way out of probably a really hard boss fight. Why are there two things here? Oh, I can leave the think tank from two places. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit was impressed by the amount of exploration the courier had undertaken. Yay! Facilities believed lost, destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations, had been rediscovered by its intrepid new master. Internally, the artificial personality debated as to whether it preferred the old management to the new, and concluded that the courier's thorough approach to research and investigation was admirable and worthy of its respect. 
Doctor hey, I press the sink. Has continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. I just want to turn the sound back up since the voices aren't as loud anymore. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The Sync Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, oh, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden. So that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. Vault 22. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, <laughs> and God. the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. My God, this guy. Whatever the reason. It slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the mag- Alright, bit of a pause there. Uh, but the main gist of it is the sink did find a way to get into the magneto hydraulics uh, facility and almost flooded big, the big mountain trying to uh, clean everything. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Um. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. <clears throat> Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there. Tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. <laughs> Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson. With sounds, the Coria brought him, created a symphonic counter-frequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. Oh, wow. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Wow. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. 
It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. Wow. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was. Or even what a high school was. What? This confused them for a time. Until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. <laughs> so it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. Thank you. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. Good. The cybernetic canine gender female destination Roxy sat in a guard post in X8. Oh my god. That is until her I'm in heat programming circumvented her stay routine and she loped into the Mojave. There she ran across her <gasps> Rex who had been following the courier just as she had. They barked for a while and realized they had a lot in common. The two of them constructed a litter, litter of several pups, the small army of Boston Terriers that gnawed and devoured anything in the their path. The organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy. Game crash. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, but I'm gonna watch through this again. Hopefully it doesn't crash in the same place. I think it crashed a little bit after this. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier, and if anyone would shape it, well, 